hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to learn the installation of the istio using the helm chart in aws eks so what is istio so istio is an open source service mesh and it will runs along with your microservices within an application uh, it was originally created by the google ibm and now it falls under the cncf why the istio so istio uh, is a sidecar proxy uh, which manages all the incoming and the out outgoing traffic which will control the traffic flow and the enforce security policies now the benefits of the using sto is the traffic management circuit breaking eases microservices management security load balancing and so many the prerequisite to install the sto are one running kubernetes cluster and uh, package manager helm and the cube ctl now let's start with the installation of the istio we will first add the istio repository via the helm so let's run the command helm repo add istio istio release load storage dot google com slash charts okay okay we we have done the spelling mistake still now we will run the hand repo update command now we will now we will run the kubectl get namespace now you can see that there is no ss namespace called istio hyphen system okay now we will we will first install the istio base chart which will install your crds and this is a prerequisite to install the istio control plane so hello and install istio base istio base is our chart name hyphen n istio system hyphen hyphen create namespace hyphen hyphen set default revision default so the chart will install in the istio system namespace and it will also install the validator Hmm. we can see that our istio base has been deployed now we will install the istio control plane it will install the istio d so let's install istio d Great command install it will it will take some while to install this TOD. Yeah, Istio D has been successfully installed. Now we will verify Istio base and Istio D deployment status by running the following command: helm ls hyphen n Istio system. And you can also run the uh, below. Uh, you can also run the following command to verify it is actually running or not. So let's do kubectl get deployments. 
hyphen n studio now you can see that studio d service pod is is up and running so that's in today's video uh, in in my next video i will come come up with my the uh, with the one um, virtual service and the installation of the gateway thank you for watching my video